Incredible reporting by Bill Malusian down there in the images you just saw. For more on the crisis at our border, we're joined now by Republican Congressman from Texas and member of the House Transportation Infrastructure Committee, Troy Nails. He also serves on the House Veterans Affairs Committee. Congressman, you just heard and saw the report there from our own Bill Malusian. Just incredible stuff. As he pointed out, it's something I've never seen before. He's never seen before. And I've been covering the border for more than a decade. I want for our viewers to get some context. You came and joined me back in April, some five months ago, in that same very area, Del Rio, Texas. Here is what we uh, saw and what you told me then. Listen. The Border Patrol can't handle all the children. There are thousands of them entering our country, and now they're being sprinkled throughout Texas. And pretty soon they're going to come to a neighborhood in a small town, a small community near you. Congressman, it's not under control. It's gotten worse. Why? Well, uh, thank you for having me, Griff. It's because there's a crisis at our southern border. Remember, DHS Secretary Mayorka said the border's closed. That's a downright lie. He's in denial. But understand this. This administration, this president, has been coaxing people to enter our southern border for the last nine months and even prior to his uh, inauguration. When he was a candidate, he was encouraging people to enter our southern border. And now we've had people from well over 100 countries, uh, 1.2 million people enter our southern border, and he's telling those people, come on in, the border's open. Oh, by the way, don't worry about COVID, whether you have it or whether you don't. Don't worry about any other type of disease, because once you get here, we're not going to test you. The testing and the mandatory vaccines and stuff only apply the travel restrictions, only apply to the American people. We'll make sure it doesn't apply to you. And, and don't worry about having any money because we'll take care of you there. We're going to line your pockets with some cash. We're going to make sure that you're able to participate with some of our programs here. We're going to educate your children. We're even mm. going to educate your kids going to college. Yeah. We're going to educate your kids going to college. And I am, don't remember, don't, now don't forget who I am. My name is Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Congressman, uh, you mentioned the uh, administration coaxing people, inviting people to come, and Bill Malusian was saying in his report that many of these Haitians had left Haiti long ago. They chose to come now. I would submit to you, in the end of May, this administration reinstated the TPS, Temporary Protective Status, for Haitians. It had been lifted in 2017. Do you believe that was a mistake and part of the problem? Of course. And, and, and you also got to look at why are these people coming from countries around the world? Griff, we're spending trillions of dollars in Washington. We're going to do everything we can mm. to find a pathway to citizenship. We're going to make sure that we encourage them to come here because we're going to let you participate. We're going to give you health care, education. He's doing this. This is an orchestrated plan by this administration because you know they want to give everyone a pathway to citizenship. And this administration has put the American people last. He is doing mm. more for the migrants underneath the bridge in Del Rio than he is for the people under the bridges in Washington, D.C., Houston, and Baltimore, the homeless. Yep. And many of those are veterans and they're Americans. It's well, disgusting. That's an interesting point. Congressman Troy Nails, thank you for taking time. You talked about spending trillions. We'll have you back again after you guys start tackling that infrastructure bill. Congressman, thank you very much.